But let's jump into into the news here, and um, it's very tragic. So let me read the article, and um, it says the two Americans kidnapped in Mexico found um, sat. You know, let's use the word deleted because you guys know YouTube. So, uh, and my, my respects to the family. I hope you guys, you know, you understand YouTube and it's just the whole thing. But yeah, so two uh, Americans kidnapped in Mexico found delete uh, and two were rescued alive and back into the U.S. So this this was just earlier today uh, that they they did say, and I read in the news that they did um, find find four, the four of them and, and they gave the news that uh, luckily two of them have passed and, and the other two, were alive and uh but um they were still in the in the mexico site but now now we know that all four four uh, are back um back here in the american side and i was kind of concerned because people uh even youtubers down in mexico um they were they were um they were uploading their inf- uh, their family information you know their their um uh, stuff or um profiles pictures and i'm just like hey man let the let the family at least at least get 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 here you know what i mean like i mean the the, you know let the family at least get get the bodies or the people alive you know over here into the u.s so you know what i mean that way they don't try to do something or i I don't know just just crazy stuff going on down there but um so two were found uh they you know they were they they weren't they they weren't alive no more uh while the other two were rescued alive official Officials announced Tuesday the two survivors, uh, the survivors' names. Okay, so they're releasing names now. So um, it's Eric James Williams and Latavia, Latavia, uh, Tay McGee, and um, they have returned to the U.S. with their uh, their family set. And this is a split photo of uh, Eric James to the left and Latavia tay mcgee uh to the right so i'm glad i'm glad they're back you know um and they're they're safe with the family the four americans williams mcgee sendo brown and mcgee's cousin uh she she uh would would they arrived friday morning in matamoros okay so they arrived on friday morning some people were saying that thursday thursday actually no thursday was the last day that that some people most fa- people or family talk to them but uh they arrived friday morning to matamoros mexico which is in the northeast northern northern east state of tamaulipas just south of brownsville texas shortly after crossing into mexico uh an identified gunman shot the passengers of the vehicle the u.s embassy in mexico city said the americans had been traveling in a white minivan and you can see here the, the minivan in the in the picture uh a member of the mexican security forces stands next to the white minivan uh, okay so this was after uh don't forget about this car right here because it comes it comes into play later on some people are saying that they crashed this car into here um but it looks like it has an impact on it. So, uh the gunman um heard the gunman herded the four u.s citizens into another vehicle and fled the embassy said this video i'm telling you guys hit let me know in the comment section if you have seen the video i can bring this comment it's not letting me okay what's going on here with the with the chat okay let's go yo okay uh look at the one yeah for some reason my microphone um got muted and trying to hack it so going back so they the, the cartel they say the cartel sentences recruits uh haitian people that are stuck in the border trying to cross over here and uh that's one theory and like i was saying i don't know if my mic got cut but uh some people are saying that the minivan i mean or the car they were they were driving over there it's i don't know it's kind of fishy the whole situation where uh they rented that van the four americans rented that van and 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 they're not supposed to take the van into mexico or i i don't know now the the, the laws or regulations with with rental cars but that i know back in my days um it was a no-no you couldn't take um the cars into mix especially you know back in 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 late high school um after high school um you know we wanted to rent cars and to take down there and they didn't want to let us well another one too we were young but um let me read the comments real quick uh look at the lawyer killed uh, when yeah that's another sad case yeah well some americans should not go uh beating pat um so that there's a lot of theories and I, i'm sure you guys have theories about it too um so it says it seems uh to be that it was a misunderstanding barrio said uh, Mexican investigators believe the kidnappers may have wrongly believed the Americans were rival human traffickers. A uh, source close to the investigation, ABC News, said the two survivors uh, were found 
Tuesday morning in a wooden house in the Laguna area outside of Matamoros. Mexican officials uh, say and the news conference uh, at the news conference, uh, one of the deceased was also found inside the house and the second one was found outside. Whoa. whoa. They just, okay. I, you know, I saw the news and, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys seen the conference of uh, the Mexican president, uh, AMLO and what this uh, president did, what he did, um, he had one of the, 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 the main guys from, from Matamoros. He called, you know, called the president while he was live and he made the, the I think the lady that had the phone that it was like, Hey, you know, we have so-and-so on the call. Um, wanted to, to give the news. I don't know. It was kind of, it's kind of check it, check it out when you guys get the, get the chance. But this kind of kind of awkward, kind of weird, because the president was all like, like, no, you're going to say, like, no, I'm not going to, you know, uh, say what he tells me. Just put him on speaker and have him say what he has to say. So you can hear the news of of uh, of the four Americans uh, being found. But the guy's on the phone on speaker. So some people are saying that, you know, the president did it like so he cleans his hands. So that way, when they report it, they don't say, oh, the president said they actually, you know, the, the media's like, oh, putting the other uh, authorities or main guy from Matamoros' name in the article to let everybody know this guy is is the guy that's in charge. So, you know, keep a lookout for, for him because he's the guy that's supposed to have order. I'm the president. But this guy's supposed to be taken care of here. So that was kind of wild. Uh, Williams had gunshots, uh, gunshot wound to his leg, said governor of Tamaulipas, Américo Villarreal. Actually, that that's who it was. It was uh, the, the governor of Tamaulipas, Américo Villarreal. Uh, and this is Eric James right here. Okay, let me bring, switch it here. Boom, boom. There we go. This looks. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, Eric James. Uh, so let's keep on going. During the three days they were held, the Americans were transferred to various places, including a clinic, in order to create confusion and avoid rescue efforts. Villarreal said, wow, I've heard about this. This is this is crazy, right? So, and like Van Garcia I, uh, mentioned in the comment section, I think it was like three days that they took. So for three days, they, they had they had the bodies or they had, you know, the four uh, Americans with 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 them but they were taking them to the hospitals and they were trying to confuse confuse the uh the authorities or at least you know make it seem like yo well they were here they were here so they'll get kind of confused um and um so another thing for what we hear is that one person has been arrested the 24 year old suspect was in charge of looking after the victims inside the house where they were they were found mexican officials said so okay so they had said they had somebody there they had somebody i think everything was planned right like they're all like okay um gonna um do this do this do this do that and um some people are saying like whoa you know how come well this case is this is uh catching um blowing up so much or they're paying too much attention or you know, one thing that I can see and, and I've been hearing from other content creators and, and, and just people in general is that they they uh, they were lucky that they so that somebody released the video. And thanks to that video, it put pressure um, to whoever uh, kidnapped them because now that they were on video now. The uh, they created a, a big um, got, it got a lot of attention. The news got a lot of attention. So some people are saying that if if that that video wouldn't have came up, uh, probably all four would have been gone. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys? What do you guys think? I th I think it's true. I think I think uh, this put pressure on on the the cartels, and they were like, "Hey, man, like, no, we, we I mean." If it's only two, but well, we're gonna we gonna we gotta you know give them back you know we gotta give them back however whoever you know so I think that that video put a lot of pressure. Um, one of the survivors, uh, McGee, is mother of five who traveled down to, uh, from South South Carolina to Mexico for a cosmetic medical procedure. So that's this is her right here in the in the picture. Yo, what's up? What's up? OG history, how you doing? Big shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, and uh, she's the 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 person. Um that went down there to get a medical procedure some people are saying tummy tuck some saying um uh, bbl that's not me saying that's what's out there you know on the inter internet uh, uh her, her mother barbara Berg, uh told see news she had um she had to hold my heart uh when the fbi came uh to her home on tuesday with the news that her daughter was alive i'm sure she was very happy man i mean it's just i'm pretty sure 
the, you know, she probably she was uh, thinking something, you know, happened. I, I don't know. I, I can't even imagine what kind of thoughts were going through her. But um, I'm glad I'm glad she got her daughter back and she's back. McGee spoke to her mother from a Texas hospital on Tuesday and told her mother she had no major injuries. Uh, Burgess, Burgess said uh, Williams uh, to Williams. OK, the second survivor called his wife, Michelle Williams. And he was being transported to a Texas hospital. She told ABC News. It was just tears of joy, she said. Michelle Williams said that the FBI said the FBI, sorry about that, uh, told her that the, her husband had been shot twice in one leg and once in the other. Uh, her He underwent to surgery in Texas uh, for the wounds, wounds, he said. She said, I'm, I'm glad they're back, man. I'm really, 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 really glad uh, I finally got back to your channel. Uh, it's been deep. Dope. Um, what does it say? Hey, baby, a chick is going to I don't know, man. That's another the thing they're saying. Like, why? Why take so many, so many um, guys or so or people? I don't, I don't, we're gonna find out more. Um, we're almost getting down to to the uh, bottom of the article, guys. So that way you guys can call in. Um, so yeah, the surviving victims were transported to the port of entry of Bronzeville, where they are receiving medical care at a local hospital. The FBI said in a statement Tuesday. One of the victims sustained serious bodily injured injuries during the attack. Man, that, that it looked like a crazy, crazy attack. Very sad, man. Very disturbing, too. Extremely disturbing. Um, this still this is still an ongoing criminal investigation. Investigation of FBI said, adding that uh, it is working with the federal and international partners to determine the facts of what happened and to hold responsible hold those responsible for the horrific and violent attack accountable for their crimes this was next to this crime let me get some water guys um how's my audio oh, okay let me go back here yeah so uh, the bodies. Okay, so this song goes. The bodies of the two deceased Americans will be transferred to the U.S. on Tuesday. Mexican officials say said uh, the State Department is in the process of repatriating the two deceased victims. My condolences goes to the family, man. Uh, uh, and they got to be going through a lot of pain, man. This video was is horrific. Optops, optopsies will be conducted on the two victims who were killed. A source uh, close to the investigation told. ABC News. Yeah. So, man. So they they got one person. They got one person. Um. I mean, I th I think that that person probably was just put there. You know. Um. Um. I don't even think. Well, I don't think that person has to do anything. But still, right? It was a uh, um had to do uh was involved in the whole thing. So um. All right. So. We thank, uh, okay, so it says, we thank our Mexican and U.S. law enforcement partners for their effort to find these innocent victims and ask forward to ensure justice is done. Uh, I haven't, dude, I haven't heard. Have you guys seen uh, uh, President Biden uh, talk? I, I've seen a rep representative talk, but I haven't seen anything. And I just, uh, I got here a while. Probably I'm going to look, look, it, look it up. But let me know in the comment section, yo, if, uh, if you guys heard anything, man. This guy's looked bad, really, really bad bad president joe biden has been kept updated on the situation white house press Sec secretary kareen jean pierre said tuesday okay yeah i saw i saw her giving giving a uh, talking but a lot of people weren't really like vibing with her that's that's one thing i noticed let me put uh let me put real quick the the stream yard so you guys can can chime in you guys can can uh chime in give me uh just give me Give me less than, than 67 seconds. All right, I'll be back. How quick? Real quick. All right. I told you guys I was going to be back. 
real quick. All right, let me post the link here, and uh, that way, that way, you guys can uh, okay, join, join. Ooh, hello, man. It's cold. It's still cold, and I, I can't believe it's gonna rain. I can't believe they're saying that it's gonna rain tonight. But uh, all right, so we got the audio right there. Okay, um, join, join the conversation. My computer's slow, and I, 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 totally I, I, maintenance on it the conversation oh geez. uh geez, is that big shout out big shout out to og history big shout out to og scotty too mm -hmm. all right thank you guys for hitting those uh those likes man i really appreciate you guys a lot you guys just don't know uh nobody travels yo what up jr how you doing um nobody travels to okay nobody travels from Bronzeville, New York, all the way down to Matamoros for a cosmetic surgery. If that were the case, that were the case, they will have traveled to Tijuana, which is a hub for cosmetic surgeries. Yo, man, Jr. I I I agree, man. It's it's. I mean, out of respect to the families because they just lost somebody. But at the same time, you know, theories are coming out. Theories, theories are coming out. And uh, let me see manners. Okay. Yeah. Um, so theories are coming out because you know the you know it's raising flags and people are saying like well why you know what were they trying to do with with the rental it was very luckily what happened and <clears throat> matamoros is very I've, I've heard man you always hear <clears throat> people are gonna be saying yeah yeah but but ray but um well we don't know or some people some americans don't know how are they gonna know um it's true but you do a research man like i said like i said earlier you do a research to where you are traveling and um and you, you know um whenever i i drive and i travel to to other spots i was up in the bay area uh, uh a couple of weeks ago and um over here since we hear good stuff but you know you know everywhere there's a hood everywhere there's a uh, um something oh let me see maybe i gotta exit here oh stop screen saving maybe